Um, hello, Sam, it's Joanna. I just want to ask a couple of questions. So I think your research is absolutely fascinating. And obviously you've already sort of talked about how we as a physical therapy, physiotherapy profession should be using wearables. Um, but probably a lot of people on the call are sort of in clinical practice. So can you just talk to the ease of use within a kind of regular clinic setting, which I know you do as well, and not just research, because some people are like, well, I don't do research. Can I just use these in my practice? And how simple and quick and easy are they? Yeah, so so largely, I mean, particularly the dorsal V-sensors, they're, they're very user-friendly. Um, we have clinicians who use them in our, uh, our uh, projects as well. Uh, we have partners, um, such as some of the, the local um, football and rugby teams who, who have used them as well and have, have systems available to them. Um, largely, the, the best thing about it is the, the mobile application, I would say. It comes with um, very easy to use uh, instructions on how to place the devices on individuals. Um, and then really the application just links to the wearable sensors through a, a Bluetooth network, I believe. And then um, the actual recording of the um, activities is really simple just to start and stop. And you can really get the metrics back almost in instantaneous. Now I work with a lot of um, wearable sensor companies and devices, and largely some of the barriers that often come are things like um, things like how the app works. Do you get the data back immediately? Does it take a long time to process? But really, working with the sensors, uh, the dose of E have got really the app provides you with key instructions about what to do. You then uh, can place the sensors on. It takes you through step by step how to get to that point. You then start and stop your um, your trial, and then it will immediately output the um, the uh, outcomes that you want. So, in terms of using it within clinical practice, it's fairly straightforward. You could use this instead of um, things like video analysis and things for um, running gait because it's gonna give you a lot more information than that. You could use it like I'm doing in combination with video analysis if you wanted to, so that you could still have your own clinical opinion around that. The thing about these sensors as well for me is that it isn't taking anything away from clinical practice. It's actually providing more to clinical practice because what we're doing is rather than pen and paper assessments and kind of subjective clinical judgment where we're starting to use objective measures that will provide us with a lot more information and very easily accessible information from the app. And then we can base our clinical opinion and clinical judgment on that output as well. Um, so just like we would do a pen and paper assessment, you get you can easily do one of these dose of assessments and then use that. And as I say, I mean, we've got a lot of clinicians who already uh, interact with these devices who are using them as well within our research projects, but also um, we've taken them to external partners and they've been happy to use them and found it very easily. Great, that's perfect. And I think I think that's good for everybody to hear that you don't have to be some sort of tech genius to be able to use them. So, because a lot of us are not so much, so that's great. <laughs>